Hello. 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 So I did a thing. Recently, I went through all of my makeup and all of my skincare products, everything that I kind of had in my vanity here and in my bathroom. And I threw out all of my expired products, um, which was a lot of them, and things I know I'll probably never use. I got rid of a lot of stuff. It felt really good to be down to things that I just use every day, or maybe not every day, but I use often and I know that I will use and isn't expired, so I'm not fearful to put it on my face. So it felt good to just, you know, tighten, become more minimal with all the products that I have, uh, which was great. Now I just had a nice clean bathroom and all this space. So I did what any sane person would do. I, uh, I went and I, um, I bought more. <laughs> um, whoops. So I've got a little Sephora slash drugstore haul for you of new things that I bought to try, which I'm very excited about. Some of which I needed and some of which maybe I didn't or I just wanted to try. So without further ado, let's just jump into uh, what I've gotten myself into here. We'll start with the drugstore because I, I know what's in here. Well, I mean, I know what's in the box that I ordered from Sephora, but I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting to make this video. So they've just been sitting in here for like two weeks because I didn't want to see them or use them without filming first and like my first reactions. So it's just been sitting there on my vanity, taunting me for weeks. So now I'm finally making this video so I can use it. Anyways, we'll start with the drugstore products. So one thing that I really needed was a new hairbrush. So I got this one from Goody, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's, I guess, what's boar hair around the plastic bristles, and the hairbrush is actually wood. I decided to go with a wood hairbrush because I didn't want to just keep buying plastic ones and throwing away all this plastic, even though it, it comes packaged in plastic. <laughs> this is my new hairbrush. It is in much need. I would show you my old one, but... It's embarrassing. Next thing I bought that's drugstore is this Blistex lip balm. So I have the original one that is the blue tub, which I do really love. And I saw this one and I decided to try it. Uh, daily conditioning treatment. It's got a lot of delicious sounding things in it. I've already used it a couple times and I'm currently wearing some right now, but oh my God. If your lips are cracked and dry to the high heavens, this one and or the regular original blue one will save you. Like give it a couple minutes and your lips will be back to being soft and hydrated and oh, it's just, it's magic. It is magic in a lip balm container. Highly, highly recommend these. <laughs> Moving on to the next things that I got. I got <laughs> something of a throwback to the good old days of grade school and high school. I got a Baby Lips Lip Balm. This one is a pH color transforming lip balm. Good old classic Baby Lips. Oh, I just put lip balm on. Damn it! This is what it looks like. It's a nice pink color. So Baby Lips has always been like really nice and moisturizing. It was a staple growing up. And it works really nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that is a, a bright pink. Pinker than I would normally like to wear my lips but okay feels really nice tastes really nice kind of like plasticky cotton candy next thing i bought was a new dry shampoo i've got the ogx coconut oil miracle oil dry shampoo so i'm excited to give this one a try i've tried a whole bunch of different dry shampoos and i haven't found one that i really love the batiste or bautiste ones work pretty well i found a little mark anthony dry shampoo that works fairly well but all the other drugstore ones that i've tried so far haven't been that good Ooh, it smells nice i don't know how much it's doing to absorb the oil in my hair, but. <coughs> oh, okay. So that goes on a little white. My hair feels a little cleaner. I'll have to give this a more proper try. Okay, 
Next thing I bought was this thing that is now stuck to the container. I got this facial cleansing brush from Quo, and it just feels um, so soft. I love it when drugstores, or maybe it's just the company, it has a display, like little mini, um, like just from here up, of the brushes, so you can feel what the brush feels like, how soft it is, and this one feels so soft, and I'm so excited to wash my face with this, and I will keep it clean. I know that's one of the things that is like the downside of these brushes, or people discourage them because they can like trap mold and bacteria, but I will keep this clean, and I'm very excited to use this. On to the next. I'm trying to film this before I have to go to work, and it's like, <laughs> the pressure's on. All right, speaking of brushes, I have some more here. I wanted some new uh, powder brushes and some new powder, which I also got. So I got these two brushes from Real Techniques. We've got a nice big fluffy one that's a cheek brush. I was maybe gonna use it for blush, and it does say blush on it, so I'm on the right track. And then this one says it's a blush brush as well, but I was maybe gonna try and use it for powder just like here and under my eyes, or I could use it for blush if I like it better for that. But these are the two brushes that I got. So there it is out of the package. And it's such a pretty pink color. So, oh. yes. Oh my God, this is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, it's so cute. Look at how small. Number 407. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is. Perfect. The blush brush that I have right now is one of those flat ones. And I have to say, I, I don't really like that shape for putting on blush. And then we got on to the new powders that I wanted to get, also from the drugstore. So I've decided to try this loose setting powder. I've never tried a loose setting powder before. I've always just had the compact ones. But the one that I like and I really love just keeps breaking. So I thought, hey, this one's already, you know, broken. So what could go wrong? This one looks really nice. I saw Tati use the, um, you know, the YouTuber that does all the makeup. <laughs> the uh, pressed powder version of this, so I decided I wanted to try the loose powder since mine keep breaking. I'm done with it, so I want to try something new. And I also got this blush from Milani, and it's in the really pretty um, shape of a rose, which is so nice. It's got a little shimmer in it. It's like the Rimmel blush that I have that I've had for way too long and should get rid of, which is why I wanted a new one. So this one is in shade 11 Blossom Time Rose, and I'm very excited to try this. The last few drugstore items that I have are um, some new razors. Very exciting. <laughs> so I decided to get a new type of razor because I'm tired of throwing out my disposable plastic ones. I know you can get uh, women's razors that have the head that just comes off and you keep the actual hand holder stick thing. I don't know what it's called. But the heads on the women's ones are also made out of plastic and they come packaged in plastic and everything is so plastic. I saw these in Walmart, so I decided to give these a try. So they're actually for men. But I mean, why are razors gendered? We're all shaving hair here. And this is designed for your face, so it's gonna be even more gentle than a women's razor, I think. So this one is a bamboo razor. You can see that the stick thing is made out of bamboo, and it comes packaged in, not cardboard, but like a hard pressed like paper that looks like it could be biodegradable or compostable or very least recyclable. So I'm really excited to try that out. Also from Walmart is the hot and cold eye mask from Equate. I just thought that this would be really nice like on a self-care relaxation day. You just put it in the freezer for a couple of hours and you just lay this across your eyes. You can just de-puff in the morning when you have time to yourself. I thought that would be really nice and a reusable option. I'm going to open the box that I got from Sephora. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot I ordered some of this stuff. Okay. Since it was over $50 or $75, I got two free samples with the order and I also got free shipping and it got here in like two, three days after I made my order, like on a Sunday, on the weekend. So the first thing I got is this moisturizer 
holiday set from Belief. I've been wanting to try like a moisturizer that's meant for your face. I've just been using, don't hate me, a body like moisturizer lotion for my moisturizer on my face and I love it. It works so well, but I wanted to try something that's actually formulated for your face to see if it would make a big difference. What I've got in here is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Facial Moisturizer. And it's just a little tiny sample tub like this. I didn't want to buy a full-size one and then end up not liking it. And they have a section on the website where you can just buy the mini versions of things. So you can try it without spending $50, $60 on the full-size product. I also have the Believe Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. Another cute little mini one. And the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So these are actually a lot smaller than I thought they were, and they're not actually this big of a container. You can see underneath, it's just like half the actual size of what it is. And they're all like that. It's just a tiny tub hidden in this outer packaging layer. And then I've got the Belief, Believe in Truth Hungarian Water Essence. And I think this is just moisture, moisture, moisture. And this one is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. So I got a cleanser in this little package as well. A nice bonus. And this one's actually a decent size for a sample. The next thing that I got that was on sale is Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. Packed with papaya and bromelain to help remove impurities. But how cute is this? this adorable packaging and you get this cute little pink rubber duck with it. So I'm excited to try that and see how my skin reacts to this. And then I've got my tiny little sampler here. I've got my stem cellular anti-wrinkle moisturizer. It's just this tiny little package sampler. So there's another moisturizer I can try. And then this I saw while I was in Sephora in Vancouver and I really wanted it so I ordered the mini one online. It is the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. So I've seen really good reviews about this. And so this looks fantastic. So I'm excited to try a new cleanser. Then I also got this tiny sample of Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Max Mask. Seaweed Radiance Facial. There you go. Skincare, skincare galore. Oh. I got Skin Foundation Stick by Bobbi Brown Samplers. I guess, which I didn't order. Hold on. I thought I actually ordered a tiny sample of perfume. What? Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it. So that is everything that I ordered, all of my drugstore, all of my Sephora purchases, and now I am going to try out some of the products and get ready for the day, get ready for work. So let's jump into that. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna get my headband on. She's stylish, she's stylish. I'm gonna try out my Youth to the People, ooh, kale and spinach cleanser. And I'm going to use my facial cleansing brush from Quo. Come on, cat, get in. You need to get some independence. Look at her. Just a sorry excuse for a kitty kid. You're so cute. All right, I'm gonna start by getting my face wet. I guess pour a little bit. Ah, it's probably too much. And then just, smells good. It's not exactly foaming up like I hoped it would. <laughs> so I can hear the product being foamy but it's not actually being foamy on my face. Maybe I just need more. Okay. There we go. I mean, it does smell like what you think a superfood cleanser would smell like. Very vegetable-y, wholesome. Oh, this feels really nice. Do I feel cleansed? Yes, I do. My skin doesn't feel too dry. It actually feels nice and soft. Ooh, I like that. Now I'm going to try the Belief Aqua Balm little cream. It might not be a good idea to try all these products at once. In the spirit of saving time, I'm trying out as many things as I can. Well, for you guys. I'm going to try them all 
and we'll see what my skin does. <laughs> More moisturized. Feels good, not great. It smells a little herby. And then I'm gonna try a little bit of the Belief Aqua Balm Eye Cream. We do not want wrinkles. Not here. No, sir. Same sort of smell. I don't know how to describe it. Next step, what do I do? Primer. I'm gonna use my NYX Angel Veil Primer on my face. I love this primer. Honestly, I feel like it just like blurs out your pores and fine lines like as soon as you apply it. Like it's, or maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Next, BB cream. I use the Rimmel BB cream. Just aggressively beat my face because I am so out of time. And then we get to use my new setting powder. I'm gonna get this open. Please don't explode. Absolutely everywhere. Okay. It actually comes with a little powder poof. I didn't know it did. Oh, oh my God. So today's a different day. <laughs> I kind of uh, ran out of time in the middle of filming the last part of this video, which is why it seems a little bit rushed because I was running late per usual. And so I'm gonna finish using my products today. It's actually like a week later and I've been using some of the products for a while. I'm also gonna be trying the Saturday Skin uh, Exfoliator today, which I'm a little nervous about because in the past, Chemicals, strong chemicals in my skin don't really mix. So hopefully my face doesn't turn bright red, right, bright red. And uh, if it does, well then you'll know if you have sensitive skin, don't use this. But I'm really hoping that it will work because my skin is feeling like very textured right now and not as smooth as I'd like it. It's a little dry. Okay, I'm going to wash my face. Herby and earthy. Got my eye mask out of the freezer. Okay, ow. Okay, if I bend it up in the middle, like a little bit. It feels like it's pushing on my eyeballs a lot, though. And it's not really that cold. I guess you have to leave it on for a while for the cold to start sinking into your eyeballs. Okay, I can feel it now. I can feel the cold sinking into my eyeballs. I mean, this would be relaxing if it wasn't so like tight on my face. It kind of hurts my nose a little bit. Apparently you can also do this like hot. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. I feel like it just like pushed my eyes more into my skull. It's pretty much just what that did. With a slight cooling effect. Rub-a-dub-dub. Refining peel gel. Start over by gently rubbing dullness away. I feel like I am dull, so let's do that. Cleanse and then pat dry your face. Gently apply to the face and rub in circular motions for one minute. Rinse clean with warm water. May be used once or twice a week. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> it smells like paint. It smells like acrylic paint. How much do I use? Ooh. Oh, it's got micro beads in it. That's disappointing. Oh. What in the world? It has a very weird texture. It's like very fine sand. Is that my skin? Like, is that my skin coming off? Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. No. Is it? I mean, that would be like disgusting and horrifying, but awesome if it was my skin. Get all my dry skin around my nose off, please. Yes, thank you. Like, my nose is such a problem area for me. Okay, that's either my skin or that's just like the product drying as I rub it around my face. Or both. Has been a minute. I don't want to like overdo it. Oh, this chunk's falling off. Okay, it's definitely been a minute. This is coming off. I think my hand legitimately just squeaked against my skin because it's so clean. I don't know. 
Get in. Shut up. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. My face is so soft. Did this actually work? What? No. I mean, I still have a little bit of dry skin right here from some blemishes that I had that are healing. The dry skin around my nose is, it's like pretty much gone. Holy shit. And my face isn't like overly dry. It's a little bit dry, probably because of the chlorine and the water. Where I live, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize. I've still been using the uh, Belief Aqua Balm. I'm. I have to say, I'm not that impressed with it. For being called Aqua Balm, I do not feel that moisturized. It's also a bit of a weird texture. Like it's kind of sticky. However, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I do like this one. It's really thick. I've barely used any of it. Whereas that regular moisturizer I've used quite a bit and it's not giving me the same amount of moisture as I would like especially in this dry winter season but like my face right now I feel like I have to go back over it with moisturizer again like a really good amount of it too I've got my BB cream concealer on I'm gonna moisturize my poor lips because winter is here and honey, is she drying. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of setting powder, which I've gone back to my Rimmel London Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder, which is a sad looking. And I will explain why I'm going back to my old powder at the end of this video. So stay tuned. This brush is just so gentle. Oh, I love it. And then finally, finally! Excuse me. I'm trying to film. Finally going to get to be able to use my new blush that I picked up. I've been waiting. How do I open it? How do I open it? Oh. Got it. <laughs> oh, this looks so nice. Oh, I don't want to ruin the rose, but like... Ooh, damn. Is there anything there? Okay, it's definitely on my brush. Hmm, okay, she's nice. Subtle. Hmm, like a very velvety texture. So this morning I'm trying out my last couple few products. I used the cleanser from Belief last night. It has a really jelly, what well, was called Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser, but it's got a really jelly consistency. It feels really nice and I'm going to be trying my Fresh Youth Preserve mask this morning. Let's get to cleansing. It has like a really nice light sort of citrusy smell or like a herb smell. And it makes like just this really nice, thick, fluffy foam. 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 It doesn't really bubble. It just sort of creates like this nice like blanket of foam on your skin. <laughs> just makes your soul smile, you know? Let's try this thing. Five minute facial. Combat signs of tired and overstressed skin. Apply a generous layer using circular motions and let it work for five minutes. Add warm water massage into the skin, then rinse well. It can be used two to three times a week. This looks weird. Oh, that is a weird texture. It's almost like jelly. Oh, this smells weird. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells weird. 
It's got some like little bits in it, so I think the circular motions are supposed to exfoliate your skin. It feels nice. It feels like it almost has a cooling effect. Cute. And now we just let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so we're like we're a couple minutes in and my face is like hot but cold. And it looks like I might be getting a little red in some places. Hopefully I'm not allergic to this. I do have sensitive skin, um, but I'll, I'll give it the full five minutes to see what becomes of me, I guess. In five minutes, I'm going to massage the skin with water and then rinse well. When you get it wet, it feels quite moisturizing. Almost like warm butter on your face. Oh my god, rinse well is right. This is really hard to get off. <laughs> oh, okay. Good lord. I feel like my face feels pretty nice. It looks glowy. Next product I'm going to try and use is my little sample moisturizer that I got. It's really tiny. <laughs> So this is Juice Booty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. That was too much. That was way too much. Okay, a little bit goes a long way. Good to know. It smells very lemongrassy. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. It smells like herbs and lemon, so that feels very moisturizing. And the last thing is the Bobbi Brown uh, skin foundation stick samplers that I got instead of perfume and I did message them about it and apparently they were sold out of what I got it would have been nice to know that so usually I'm the lightest color so I'm gonna use porcelain <laughs> okay <laughs> that's how much product you get uh, it looks like it's pretty darn good coverage. I mean, yeah. If you wear foundation, it seems like a good foundation. I don't wear foundation, but uh, if I did, maybe I'd give this one a try. Now it's time for me to finish getting ready and give you my final thoughts. So here we go. We're back. Okay, final thoughts on all of these Final thoughts on all of these Sephora and drugstore products. I'm gonna try to make this fast. I don't wanna keep you waiting. I don't wanna ramble on. So let's go. First up, I'm just gonna start grabbing things. My new hairbrush that I got by Goody with this wood back. I really like it. I think it's making my hair look smoother and nicer and it's pulling out less hair. And yeah, I really like it. Like four and a half out of five stars. This eye mask that you can put in the freezer and then cool your eyeballs with it. Um, it's okay. I give it like a th three out of five stars just because once it goes in the freezer and the balls freeze, it's kind of hard to lay it on your face. It's not that comfortable and the band is really tight on your head. The Refresh and Restore Coconut Miracle Oil Dry Shampoo from OGX. I think it works fairly well, but it does leave a lot of uh, white residue in your hair, like you saw when I used it. So I'd give that like a three out of five, still looking for a dry shampoo. This loose setting powder, banana powder from Essence. I do not like this. <laughs> it dries out your skin and it just brings every dry flake of skin to the forefront of your face and just showcases it. I don't like it. I'm not going to use it anymore. Maybe the pressed powder version is better. Maybe I'll try that at some point. Like a one out of five stars. <laughs> uh, the next product is the Milani blush in this really pretty rose shape. I, I really like it. I think it works really well. It's nice and subtle, but buildable and blendable. It's got a nice little shimmer in it. Yeah, I like this. Four out of five stars. Packaging is a little hard to get open. <laughs> Next product, this Blistex DCT Deep Conditioning Treatment for your lips. 
I love this. I'm wearing it right now. And in winter, Blistex, this one and the original one, the blue one, are a godsend. This just helps my lips so much. Next product. <laughs> the baby lips. This is actually really nice and moisturizing. They still got the formula down pack. It makes my lips a little too pink than I would like them, but it's nice. Four to five stars. Next thing is the razor that I bought. Um, so this is actually a men's razor, um, but I think it works pretty well. Uh, nothing particularly phenomenal, but it seems to work well so far. Didn't irritate my skin at all. It's good. Like three and a half, four out of five stars. Next thing would be the brushes that I got. The Real Technique brushes. They're very soft and I think they deliver the product well. I'm using this one for powder underneath my eyes, here, there, you know, wherever. And this one for blush. And they're really soft, really nice. I would recommend them both. They're nice drugstore makeup brushes. Four and a half out of five stars. The next one is the Quo brush that I got from the drugstore, the facial cleansing brush. I really like this. I think I'll use it when I have a little bit more time during my skin routine, you know, maybe at night. Uh, in the morning, not so much, but every once in a while, it's just like a nice little luxury, sort of. Um, I would give this like a four and a half out of five stars. Uh, the only thing is, is it dries a little slow, but that's about it. I mean, it's what you would expect, really. Moving on to the Sephora products. So I guess I'll start with the Bobbi Brown stick foundation samplers that I got. The foundations are nice. Uh, I think it matches my skin fairly well. It's not perfect. I could be slightly more tan, but I think it, it's pretty well and it seems like it has really good coverage. So I would recommend these or recommend getting the tester if you want to try a new foundation. But I like these. So three and a half, four out of five stars, I guess. And then the next thing would be all of the Belief Mini products that I ordered. I'll start with the Hungarian Water Essence. It's nice. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. Hydrate, I guess. Uh, it goes on really watery, but then it dries sort of sticky, so I don't really love this. I'd give it like a two and a half five out of five stars. The Moisturizing Eye Balm. I like. It's really nice and thick and it feels like it, it's moisturizing so I would give this like a 4 out of 5 stars. The True Cream Aqua Balm moisturizer that I ordered um, that I wanted to try because I'm trying to find a new facial moisturizer. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's like mind-blowing. I find that I have to do two... Oh dear god. <laughs> I have to do uh, two full applications of the product to feel like I have enough moisture in my skin for it to be like really good so I'd give that like a two and a half out of five stars it's not that great to me and then last but not least the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser I actually really like this it feels really nice and it's got a very refreshing scent I would give this like a four out of five stars four and a half out of five stars I really like this one and I'm going to continue using it the next product is the Lotus Youth Preserve uh, mask uh, I give this like a three out of five stars. It's a little, it smells a little weird. It's got some weird chunks in it. Um, but I think it did a good job of making my skin feel soft and glowy and moisturized. Um, it's just got kind of an odd smell that is not my favorite. Next thing is the kale and green tea spinach vitamins facial cleanser from Youth to the People. Um, it's okay. It's not like mind-blowing. It smells really nice. Smells nice and herby and fresh, so I like that. Um, I didn't notice like a huge difference to anything, but I think it's pretty nice. Like four out of five stars, would recommend. The next thing from Sephora is the Juice Beauty Organic Solution uh, Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Moisturizer. I really like this. It, it's uh, very moisturizing. It feels great. I, I'm going to keep using it. I give this like a four out of five stars. I like it, would recommend. And the last product, last but not least, in the slightest, is the Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. And it comes with a cute little rubber ducky. This stuff, I love. I don't know what it it does, if it's, just a, if it's just a physical exfoliator or it's physical and chemical exfoliator, 
but you probably noticed when I was using it, those white clumps are, it's partially product, but I'm pretty sure it's also partially like a layer of dead skin coming off your face. And I have like a dry skin problem, like around the sides of my nose and across the top. And it like completely took that away, except for like one of like the worst patches right there. So I'm very impressed with this product and it didn't irritate my skin in the slightest, which is great because I have sensitive skin and I hate when that happens. <laughs> that is all of the products from Sephora and the drugstore that I did in my, over the last couple of weeks, haul. Overall, I love pretty much everything. Everything works really well. Um, nothing irritated my skin at all, which is a big win when you have sensitive skin. Okay, that is it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I put out videos once a week. I, I'd say every Friday, but it might be Saturday. I'm not going to try and put too much pressure on myself right now to uh, upload every single Friday at the same time or anything like that. Uh, but I'm going to shoot for once a week. Um, probably on Friday. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you really love them or any products from the drugstore or from Sephora that you would recommend that I try. Have a lovely rest of your day, people, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!